folks welcome to today's stream uh, today we will not be using solder this is not a soldering screen so this will be useless we are rendering this useless for today um, <clears throat> so welcome very much people who are here uh, it is a solder free stream please use a solder uh, <laughs> we've got uh, we had Chive here who was first a couple of hours ago when I was setting up so Chive gets first I'm not sure if he's watching or not but we've also got Anarchy who gets the real first because he was talking about beer just before the stream. Yes, I will be having a beer. I have a beer with me um, because I'm not soldering. I feel more comfortable having a drink. Uh, Vogon's here as well. It's not sponsored by Lego. I just stole the logo off of uh, um, off of YouTube or not YouTube, Google. It's it's literally the only level of Lego stream I'm likely to ever do, so I think it's fine. Um, <clears throat> Martin wants me to please use the solder. I, I intend not to. <laughs> uh, Fully's here, he says hola and then ciao. Thanks for coming and thanks for going. Uh, sold a free stream, say it ain't so. Yeah, sold us some Lego. Uh, I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure that's going to work. I'm not sure that's going to work. Uh, but yeah, we are going to build some Lego today. I'm also going to give away some uh, game code. So I have uh, three £15 uh, or €15 Euro or $15, depending on where you are, uh, gift cards for Steam. We'll be giving those out throughout the show um, at different times just to try and give you guys something to do and something to spend your time and effort on. I think this will be uh, gift codes 37, 38 and 39 that we've done on stream, I think, something like that. Um, I just realised I don't have Streamlabs open. Uh, not Streamlabs, Twitch Manager, which I need. <sighs> so, today has been a bit of a, a rush day, I'm afraid. Um, I've literally just got off the phone from a meeting about two minutes ago. Uh, oh, about ten minutes ago. And then the wife said, oh, would you like some cake and ice cream? So, I wasn't going to turn that down. Uh, so, she was heating that up in the oven as I was rushing around trying to get all the cameras and everything set up. Um, so, it was nearly, nearly late. Um, where's the stream manager? There it is, there it is, there we go. <clears throat> uh, obviously said yes, of course I said yes. Of course I said yes. As soon as someone offers me cake and ice cream, I say yes, I like cake and ice cream, it's good. It was warm cake, she even, it was chocolate brownie. She put the chocolate brownie in the oven and she got me some, um, uh, so um, I, I can't remember what the, it, honeycomb I think it's called, the, the stuff that's inside of Crunchy, if you guys get those. Uh, honeycomb, and that was, um, uh, in some vanilla ice cream with some caramel sauce on, the uh, the whole kind of thing was nice and warm, the ice cream was cold, it was great, lovely, delicious, yeah, it was delicious. Um, it's illegal to say no, it's illegal to say no to my wife full stop, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so in terms of the giveaway that was mentioned there, none will be randomly dumped into Twitch chat today, uh, these are all going to be Nightbot style ones today, um, so yeah, so we're going to give away three £15 euro or dollar vouchers depending on where you are in the world, um, I will add you on Steam and buy you one, and we're going to do that at three different points during the stream, so yeah, try and give you guys some content to try and play games or whatever else you want to do. Uh, can I show off your set? <laughs> it's not your set. I haven't agreed to trade it yet. It's full, and I don't have it in the room actually. It's actually in the pile of stuff that's in the other room. Um, but yeah, I can try and dig it out later on for you. Um, <clears throat> Derek's here as well. Uh, thank you very much, Derek, for uh, for joining the stream. It's logo for poop. Uh, who else do I need to call? Janky render. Um, blame the lack of meat, but you have a gift here waiting for you. Oh yes, you do. You do have. A, I've got. I've got something actually waiting for you, bloody. Um, I'm gonna not dox you as such on stream, but I found this <laughs> this in my drawer the other day, which is actually Bledin's. Bledin ordered this in America to go to Brian. Brian took receipt of it and then uh, gave it to me when I went to Seattle last year. And then Bledin and I forgot about it when we had the Leeds meetup in the UK in October. So it's been sat in my drawer ever since. Um, I can post it out to you, or we can wait for the. Uh, we can wait for the UK meetup, whatever you prefer, Bloody. 
<coughs> it is in the pile of uh, it is in the drawer that's for the UK meetup as well. Uh, Luke Helios as well. Uh, one above all. Uh, that's a great username. That's really clever. Uh, hello from Germany. Welcome, my friend. Okay. Oh, nice copy. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> throw it in the post as the eventual reference. Yeah, DM me your address, Bloody, and I will get that post out in the next couple of days. It'll probably be Saturday now before I go to the post office, but I will make sure that's posted for you. Uh, that's purely because Top Clack Weekly Show is tomorrow, and then I sleep in on Fridays. So I will miss the uh, the post. My post office is now only open 8 a.m. until 10 a.m., which means I have to be up early if I'm going to make it there. Um, cool. Yeah, DM me, and I'll DM you mine as well. Cool. Um, anyway, time to move on to this. Today's build. Today's build is going to be Lego, as I'm sure you guys uh, appreciate it. Salvin's here as well, saying Lego. Let's go for Lego. Yeah. Um, I haven't built any Lego for maybe 12 months, 18 months. I really, really liked doing the last couple that I had, which were um, the DeLorean from Back to the Future and the Echo e Ecto one, which was from uh, Ghostbusters. So the two vehicles from that. Um, I've done a few others in the past, uh, a couple of Millennium Falcons, the small ones, um, I've done a X-Wing and a TIE Fighter and a few other ones from the Star Wars universe. I do have the full size Millennium Falcon as well to do, but that's sat in a box and it's never left its box, that's the ultimate collector's edition. But after after Querdenker pointed this one out to me the other day, I had to buy this one for myself as my birthday present. So my birthday was last Friday and this is what I bought myself. <coughs> There you go. This is what I bought myself. Um, it's huge, is the box. As you can see, the box is massive. It's bigger than any keyboard I have, uh, including the Hyper 7. The Hyper 7 sits on here quite nicely. Um, so we're going to build this, or at least start to build it today. I have not looked at the instructions. If you use exclamation mark build, bang build, whatever you want to call it, uh, you'll be able to get the link to the instructions that uh, uh, the, that I'm going to be following for this. I assume the instructions are in the box, but I'll have the digital ones up on stream at the side of me. Uh, in fact, I'm going to get them back up now. Now, I've never built Lego on stream, so I don't know how easy or difficult this is going to be, but this is quite possibly the best Lego set I've bought. Um, it is the code 76139 if you want to have a look at it. And it is the 1989 uh, Batmobile, if you can see down here at the bottom where I'm pointing, uh, which is the best Batmobile. It's the Michael Keaton version of Batman, which is the best Batman. Uh, so yeah. You can disagree if you like. I know a lot of people like the Tumblr. Uh, this one is my my favorite, personal favorite Batmobile. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to build this. So I'm gonna open up the box. I'm probably gonna have to open up the box on my lap uh, because I'll hit the cameras or the screens or something. My desk is, the, the 60 centimeters visible here and that's not enough space for this. So we're gonna open up the box. Maybe I'll have to do it off camera. Uh, if I can do it on camera, I will. Oh, okay, okay, so I think I think that I just need to open one side. You can't even see me around the box, it's that big. Okay. Okay, so I can just do it from this one side by the looks of it. There is so many bags in here. There's also a box which I have no idea what is in this. Um, but there are so many bags here. So many bags. This is the size of one of the wheels. Look how big that is. This thing is going to be huge. Do not disrespect Adam West. Uh, I'm sure he's a good Batman. Uh, a little bit old for my tastes is that kind of slapstick Batman comedy. I much prefer a kind of serious Batman, but uh, sure. <coughs> that box is a lot deeper than I had anticipated. Yeah, uh, the best Batman build as well, I agree. Uh, I built the Bugatti Chiron last year, definitely not a quick build. I'm not expecting to finish this to do. I am not expecting this. To, I'm expecting this to take about 10 hours. So uh, that will be some on stream and some off stream. Them tires are huge. 
these, these, these rims would almost fit on my car. They're that big. It's huge. Okay. So, I'm even more excited about this. Uh, that's the wheels, clearly. I think all these bags are numbered. Which is something that seems to have changed in recent years. Like, I remember building kits when I was a kid and they weren't numbered. So that should help. So I'm going to put all of the numbers to one side and then we'll follow the guide. There is another box to open. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these to the side and then I can grab whichever bags I need when the instructions tell me to grab them. If someone wants to look ahead in, if you do exclamation mark build, if someone wants to look ahead and tell me which bags I'm going to need first, that'd be really useful. But there is a lot of Lego here. An awful lot of Lego. Brick Cube is here, thank you very much for joining dude. Uh, this is my first ever Lego build stream. Um, I'm more of a keyboard builder, but as you might have guessed from the keyboards behind me. But this is kind of exciting for me, this is new and interesting territory to do on stream. <coughs> Those were the days. Those were the weeks. This is going to take me at least 10 hours I think to build. But we, we shall see. We shall see. Okay, I'm just going to put these bags to one side because I'm not sure which bags I need first. So, somewhere on the floor, somewhere to one side. I'm then going to open this box, and we'll go from there. Okay. Is this April Fools? Uh, yeah, it kind of is April Fools. Why is the music stopped? Is this uh, a thing? Why is the music stopped? There we go. Get the music back. Okay, let's open this second box and see what's in here. Uh, as I say, I've done no prep for this. I have literally just had the box sat at the side of me uh, and just slightly adjusted my desk setup uh, to be able to accommodate more space. I think this is just more more keys. Uh, sorry, not more keys, more bits of plastic. Oh my god. Start up bag one and then go up. Bag one should be the first. Um, yeah, that figures. That figures. I didn't see a bag one earlier on. Well, there's the manual. We'll be using the digital one anyway, rather than the hard copy. Uh, we'll just take the stickers out there when we need them. I'm assuming that we start on this box then, and this box is the first part. Gives you the frame, the internals, and then all of these are kind of the accent pieces to go around the outside. Okay, so this is a lot of Lego. This is this is a lot of Lego. Uh, I am confused. Right, I'm going to keep the top seven bags to one side because I'm going to assume they're going to be fair. Sorry, that's nine. That doesn't have a number, so we'll put that to one side anyway. Two more wheels. Right, here we go. Here's bag one. And then that's bag two. I'm just going to keep uh, a few bags to one side. Three, that's four, five, six, and seven. Okay. So that's the first seven bags to one side, and we've got bag number one here. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do some giveaways today. Uh, I've got three £15 dollar or euro gift cards walkers to give away. Uh, so they're for Steam. I'll be doing those at random points during this. We're probably going to do um, uh, some questions, really easy, simple, generic trivia questions. And then we'll do some giveaways as well. We'll make it quite fun and interesting and try and do it the same way as I've been doing it before. Um, just more bags. Yeah, <clears throat> just more bags. Start at bag one and then go up. I hope it is like that. Now, I do remember some of these sets not going in that order. So you, you started at bag one and then you ended up on like bag seven before you did bag three and stuff like that. So I hope that's not the case. I hope this one really does go through the bags in order because I think the highest number of bag I saw was 27, I think. Something like that. There's a lot of bags. Um, when is there a keycap set with Lego as caps? Good April Fool's joke, I see. I think that's already been done. Mr. Keebs did some, uh, I think, or he showed them off on stream. I'm not sure if they were his, but he showed off some Lego keycaps that you could actually stand Lego on. They had the same uh, uh, top parts. I, I don't know Lego terminology, but it has the same studs on top that you could stand parts on and things like that. Um, so yeah, um, it will be interesting. Uh, right, I'm going to scroll through the guide, the build guide here. Uh, I've got it up on my screen just in front of me, uh, so I can see that. There's lots of pictures at the start of it which look really good. 
gets me in the mood for building it. There's lots of pictures that look pretty complex to build, not going to lie. Um, some carvings of a wooden Michael Keaton. Uh, mm, there is that fully Lego cube, you're right, yes. Um, uh, I don't know, I, that wasn't the one I was referring to, I was actually referring to the one that had uh, just, a, a, it was an artisan that you could stand Lego on basically. Um, that was a little while back. Derek says, I'm still waiting for Jim K. Maga. Jim K. Maga is not going to happen. Yeah, Geo's right. A 3D printed case with Lego compatible pins. Yeah, yeah, that was the one. Yeah. Um, Maga is dead. Americana is what it will be called if it runs. Whether it runs or not, then we'll see. Uh, there's lots of Lego tape you can put on anything. Interesting. Um, I got one of the Lego items. There you go. Some people got them. <coughs> right, okay. Um... Oh, interesting, you even get a little tool these days to called a brick separator. That's new. That wasn't something when I was uh, uh, building uh, Lego previously. Yeah, Langlandia, we're doing Lego today. We're doing a Lego build. How interesting is that? Okay, uh, so bags one and two, uh, then three and four, then five and six, then seven and eight, then nine and ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, 21, 22, 23, and 24. It must have been 24 that I saw. Right, so we are starting... Um, on bag one. Uh, it also gives me the instructions on how to put the Batman together as well. So we'll see if he's in this bag. I assume he's not, but uh, we're going to start on bag one. For those of you who are following the guides, you can get through doing exclamation mark build, uh, and that will give you a link to the PDF of the document I'm following here. We're actually on page 25 right now. That's where we're going to be starting. Page 25 with bag number one. So I'm going to open up bag number one. And I'm going to just tip these parts out and risk it and hope that. It has everything I need in it. There we go. Okay, so first things first. I'm going to put my knife to one side so I don't slice my hands off. I'm going to put the Batman together. So he's here. Or his chest is. Then he's got his cowl. Uh, let's see if his other parts are here as well. Oh, there's the brick separator. I've never seen one of these before. Never seen one of those, that's new to me. Okay, so his, his head is in here. Uh, and his batarangs as well. Let's open this up. Let's open this up. <coughs> uh, Tyler Durden's Vint Legos on an adult Lego stream, let's go. Yeah, well this isn't a vintage set, it's just vintage idea behind it. Um, so it, it's the, the best Batman. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's his head on. Put his cowl on a second. There's his uniform and... Okay, so there we go, guys. There is Michael Keaton Batman. How cool is that? That is super cool. We did not have Lego this good when I was a kid. Yeah, other types of building blocks are available. He's super cool. Right, okay. Uh, but thank you, Tyler Duns, for the, uh, for the uh, subscription. Really appreciate it. 13 months, that's amazing. Um, Pog, I love Lego. Yeah, it's cool, right? Best Batman, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're right, but we didn't have these when we were a kid. Not, or not, or not as good. Okay, so, build stream. The first things that I need. I need one of these. I have no idea what this is called. Um, I have no idea what most of these parts are called, but we will make it. I also need one of these Technic style connectors, uh, and that's going to go in the middle slot on one side. Done. Okay, then we need a blue one, uh, one of these connectors as well, and that's going to go in there, and then we need this, which is going to go in here. Okay, so we're starting to create something. I don't know what this is going to form part of. <coughs> um, okay, so then on the other side we're going to put another one of these uh, here, and then we've got another one of these black ones to go in here. And then we've got another blue one. Let's go in there. There we go. Nathan Alpha Man, thank you very, very much. 
It is in my best interest for you to understand the difference between brand and toy. Yes, Mr. Mattel there. There we go. So this is what we've got so far, guys. Uh, in fact, I've just realized, already made one mistake. That's on the wrong side. There we go, fixed. This is what we've got so far, guys. There we go. I have no idea how this is gonna feature into the car, but it is, so that's step one. Well, that's step one, two, and three, actually. That's step one, two, and three. Okay, so for this next part, I need three of these. I need one of those. I need one of those. I need one of those, and then I need two of these. Now, how many holes have these got on them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is too long. Uh, that one, I need two of these. Cool. Um, <clears throat> what we're saying in chat, Nathan Alfman says is here and says hello. Uh, doing this instead of what I should be doing, that's good. Uh, also dodging what I should be doing, says Langland. Yeah. Well, that's good as well, because that means you're watching me. So, yeah. Okay, so now we've got those two together. Uh, we need to take this piece and we put it on here. And then we put the, uh, the locking nut on the back. There we go. <clears throat> that goes into the center hole. Nice. Then we take two of these and we put them there and there. And then we put this over the top, like so. And then we have that in the middle there and then this gets put against this like so okay <clears throat> how's the wife doing by the way uh, it says Lubed Helios I uh, hope she didn't catch the flu we think she had COVID-19 she's doing much better now she's definitely recovering uh, and I'm just fine so we should be all good uh, so Langlandia I do have the book um, but because of reduced desk space I wanted to do it using the PDF and then you guys can follow along as well so I do have the book it is massive it's huge um, but I'm not going to be following along with this. I'm going to be doing it with the PDF so that, that I can build and look, build and look, rather than having to turn pages in a physical book. And you guys can also follow along with the PDF as well. So you don't have to uh, ask me what I'm doing or anything else. <clears throat> uh, I moved all the Zykos. I spent eight hours getting into the plate yesterday. Couldn't get the PCB installed with the switches mounted. So now I'm f filing the plate open and it's a pain in the ass. Man, do you want me to make you another plate? So this is, for those that you don't know, this is for the Jero one that Nathan Alpman uh, won. That is for one of these boards here. Um, if you want me to make you another plate with some slightly wider uh, switch holes, I will do that for you, Nathan. I am about to make an order for more carbon fiber plates. If you want me to do that, let me know. Um, okay, so we've done that. We're on to step five. For step five, we need a few different pieces. We need three of these. We need two of these. We need two of those. We need that. And then there should be two curved pieces as well, which are there and there. And then also one of these. So there's a few bits needed for this. Uh, so we're gonna take this steady away. The first one of the things to do is put that together like so. And then we're gonna put the other one in the other side. And then we put all three of these yellow pieces on here. Jeff wants to laugh at my pain. The hilarity of you struggling the book would have been worth it. I understand why he's in the PDF, but entertainment value alone would have been amazing. Well, this stream is to entertain, but I don't have the space for it. Uh, it would have been silly. Uh, <laughs> there we go. So that's how we're putting that piece together there. Then what we need to do is put the next pieces together. So we're gonna put these around the outside. So they clip on here and here. It's like a cowl almost. Uh, that means that, that piece goes just there. So that's it so far. A nice shape. Try to keep it all flush. It all looks pretty good. Then we get to put these on 
the outside of here like so and then we slot this piece over the ends of all of that if we don't break our fingers first that is okay okay so there we go guys that's that's this piece that piece now connects onto here like so there we go okay so now we need uh, two of these and we need six of these guys um, you you want me to ignore silly how dare you evidence that Lang is an agent of chaos he absolutely is uh, the mechs on Dex voice always reference so yeah he yeah uh, Lang is a legend in his own lunchtime let's put it that way uh, so for these we're gonna put one of these here we're gonna flip that around and do one on exactly the opposite position as well uh, we're then gonna go in here that way round like so gonna go in here that way round as well uh, so they come all the way through then on the front we are going to go into here and into here and then into here and into here this is like doing IKEA furniture for a living I'm not sure how I feel about that <laughs> okay from there we then need one of these uh, I remember these using to have propellers on the end uh, also, Lego pieces feel bigger to me these days. These feel bigger than what I remember Lego being. In my head, Lego was smaller. I don't know. Uh, and then we need another one of these. And we're going to put that through the middle hole. And then that is going to sit on here like so. That is, if I can line everything up. okay okay so now we've got a pretty stable platform there <coughs> surprised we've got 60 people watching this. this that seems kind of excessive for a Lego build stream uh, perhaps you guys want to see more Lego maybe that's what it is okay so we need two of these and we need four more of these blue parts <laughs> you bet your took us an agent of chaos I can confirm that Lang is an agent of chaos um, Lang and I once went for drinks uh, and he made me try the vilest vodka I've ever had. They just love looking at me. Uh, thanks thanks for that. Uh, that. I'm not sure if that gives me confidence or not, Brian, but thank you. <laughs> uh, can confirm. Fair enough, fair enough. I shall try and take the compliment. Okay. Uh, there's vodka. It was bacon-flavored vodka, Mike, which sounds great in in principle, but it wasn't in real life. It was it was horrible. It was vile. It was not good. Langlandia, if you remember that bacon vodka, you have to be honest and tell me it was crap because it was. That being said, there were some other good drinks there. The gin that I had there was really exceptionally good. Props is here because he loves Lego, loves Batman, and loves TC content. Oh, thank you, dude. That's very wholesome. Okay, we're on step nine now for those of you following along. Uh, I'm sure most of you aren't, but for those that you are, we're on step nine. <coughs> so we need one of these, and then we need four more of these. We seem to be using a lot of these uh, blue guys, which is fine. Okay. Okay. There we go. That all sits together nicely. <clears throat> uh, good luck with the build. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, uh, Robert Sensei. I appreciate you being here. Uh, it was. <laughs> I will agree. In a Blue Mary, though, it could be amazing. It could be amazing. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I. Uh, uh, 
I, I remain to be convinced on that one. Uh, it's like if Poop says, you're actually doing good. Thanks, man. Thanks. Uh, not sure if April falls or not. No, just this was planned before April. I was actually going to start it last week and I never got around to it. Um, I was going to start this last Friday when it was my birthday because this was my gift to myself. But we just, Brian and I said that we were just going to try doing a whole raft of content for people, irrespective of whether it was keyboard related or not. Um, just that's why I did the Nixie Clock the other week and then we're doing some Lego and there's all sorts of stuff going on that we're going to do. Okay, so that's number that's step nine done. We're now going to go on to step ten. We need two more of these. Uh, we need four of these black parts, and that's it. And then we're going to put two there. We're going to put two there, and then that's going to go there and there. Excellent. <clears throat> Okay, step 10 done. Step 11, two more black bits. This feels like more building on technical ego from what I recall than uh, doing anything else. And then we need four of these. Okay. So we're gonna put that in here. We're gonna push that all the way through. We're gonna push that all the way through. One in there and then we're going to push two more all the way through. So what we're doing here is pushing these blue ones all the way through. So you can see you come out the other side. That means we can add bricks at this side as well as connect these on this side. Uh, that then clips onto here. I feel like adding six of these in one spot is really difficult to fit. I don't know how kids manage this. Wait, what's the age set on this? Oh, 16 plus. Right, okay. 16 plus, yeah. Uh, this is what Top Clack was all meant to be, the toppest content with the clackiest sounds of Legos jamming together. Uh, yeah, time for a beer. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. I'm going to have to get my wife to get me another beer in a minute. Uh, right, okay, so now we're on to step 12. <laughs> More of these black parts. I don't know how uh, Lego designers come up with this kind of stuff. I, I I used to love Lego when I was a kid. It was kind of my favorite toy. Um, and I used to play with it a lot. And I mean a lot. It was kind of like, until video games came around, it was the only thing I played with. Um, Petrov behave. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, I've, I've kind of always collected sets. And I've got maybe 10 or 12 sets dotted around the house. The last two were the Lego Ecto-1 um, and the Lego uh, DeLorean but it all seems to have changed since I built it when I was a kid <clears throat> not that that's a bad thing uh, now we're on to step 13 different colour piece this time need two of these four more of these blue boys uh, that's his gun, so I'll give him that. Oh, his batarangs are there as well. They're cool. Look how cool these are. Little batarangs. Don't know how well he'd be able to see those, but they're pretty cool. And then we need five of these. Uh, they have a PhD in it and software. Yeah, I imagine they do have software, yeah. This $250 on Amazon, I guess our stuff isn't the only outrageous. Mike, I don't know if you saw this, but the box is huge, and I have 27 bags of this size to build from. This thing is massive. It is not small. Uh, it, it, it's not tiny. I think this is about a third of its length. Uh, it is absolutely ridiculously huge. It is huge. Uh, I also have the Millennium Falcon to build at some point, which I understand is 1.5 meters long, which means it actually won't show on this camera. I'm going to have to mount my camera to the ceiling if I build that on stream. Um, yeah, this this thing this thing is big enough. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, I do I do enjoy doing this kind of stuff though. Lego. Um, I actually found a really good stream a couple of weeks ago that was just a guy doing jigsaws on stream. Jigsaws. You know, why not? I thought that was the bottom of the entire car here. No, this is like nowhere near. Like, we're, we're still adding bits onto it. Okay, need two of these. Uh, one of these. 
and two of these. Jigsaws on stream, where I would never have guessed. Hey, there's content for everyone out there, right? That's the thing. There is content for absolutely everyone out there. No matter what you want content in, I'm sure you can find it. Okay. And why not as well? We, we live in an age where people can't, can't go out of the houses at the minute. There is absolutely no reason to not create content for different types of people. You know, all that kind of stuff is fair game now. Yeah, people cooped up at home need stuff to watch, yeah. And speaking of which, should we do our first giveaway? Um, let, let, me, let, me, let me find a, a Lego trivia question. Uh, and I'm going to ask you guys. So this is this, this is going to be for a a fifteen dollar voucher for um, for Steam. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to try and make it easy. Um, I need to find uh, some good fun Lego facts. Um. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna set the uh, the night bot up to to accept the word that you guys need to put in for this one. So this is for the first giveaway, and as I say, anyone's eligible for this. Doesn't matter if you're a subscriber or anything else. Uh, there's gonna be a keyword that you need to enter. I'm gonna copy and paste it. Um, Capitalisation shouldn't matter. Uh, I'm going to ask a question and you guys can answer it and then whoever wins when we roll it in a few minutes They're gonna get a 15 pound euro or dollar steam gift card in a couple of days um, So yeah, it's not Mount Everest James. It's not Mount Everest <clears throat> um, Okay, so the the question we're gonna ask is uh, What is the plural of Lego? What is the plural of Lego? It's not 42 But I'll let you guys go over there um, the right answer is in chat already. Oh god, head mod's it. <laughs> head mod. Okay, I'll give you guys uh, a couple of seconds to come up with the answer for that. So the question is, what is the plural of Lego? You guys put the answer into chat. Um, <clears throat> oh, wait, it's not telling me that anyone's... Eligible? Why is that not working? Why is that not working? Interesting. Interesting. So, okay, hold on, hold on. Nightbot is not working. Nightbot is not doing his giveaway stuff. Uh, <clears throat> just close my eyes and pick. Oh, of course, the answer is copyrighted. Is that why it is, Kakan? Is that what it is? Okay, right, let me ask you another question instead then. There we go, we failed on the first one. <clears throat> um, okay, there we go. We're going to change the question. We're going to change the question. Uh, um, okay, I need a question that's got a, a particular answer to it as well um, okay okay none of these seem particularly easy I can't find anything that's easy to ask all right let's do a Batman question in, instead let me let me let me find a Batman trivia question let me find a Batman trivia question <clears throat> okay okay Okay, so we're building the 1989 Batmobile, and we know that Michael Keaton was uh, the Batman, okay? The question I'm going to ask is what actor, first and last name, uh, and hopefully this will, will, it'll allow this, uh, what actor, first and last name, uh, played the Joker in that series? Uh, let's see if anyone gets that. So what actor played the Joker in the Michael Keaton version? Okay, stop putting your answer in, guys. It's not working. It's not working. I'm going to sign out of Nightbot and sign back in because that's not working. Um, it's just not not doing anything. Scuffed stream. Hey, it wouldn't be top clack if it wasn't, Mr. Petrov. Redo, redo. Yeah, we're going to redo it. Could you make it any easier? It's a really easy question. It's supposed to be easy. 
Too many people doing giveaways, that's what it is, right. Okay, okay. Okay, we're just going to make this one a keyword that you need to put in. So I want you to put in Batmobile. Just put in Batmobile and see if that works. Let's test it and get it working. So go for Batmobile. Oh, okay, it's working now. It's working now. Right, we can stop that. So we're going to go back to the question. Yeah, it's working. Guys. All right, you don't all need to do it. That's not going to win the giveaway. That's not going to win the giveaway. Right, back to the question. So who played the Joker alongside uh, the 1989 uh, Batman? So go for that. That's going to be the question to answer. The answer is there and ready now. Capitalization doesn't matter, so you can enter to win. <coughs> uh, Cricken, you were just before the cutoff of me typing it in. You were too fast for me, so you just need to enter again, I'm afraid. Everyone else is good. Uh, Corbin, you were first, so yeah, that's good. So just Cricken needs to go again. Or Siarkin, or Kraken, or however you want to pronounce it. Kraken, Kraken, Crevice li Lighting, yeah, something like that. Message identical, it's making me wait. We'll wait for you. You tell, me, you tell me when you can post it in again. I can't manually make you eligible, sadly. Oh, I can. You're eligible, Kraken, you're eligible. There we go. <laughs> My chat is way behind stream, I'm realising. Oh no, refresh, refresh, redo. Okay, I'm going to roll this one and we'll see who wins the first one. The winner of the first one is McDonald's Twerk Team. McDonald's Twerk Team. Uh, I didn't even see you post, but McDonald's Twerk Team. Where did you post? I didn't even see you enter. Oh, you did. Yeah, you did. 1044. There you go. McDonald's Twerk Team. Uh, you are the winner. Uh, if you reach out to me on Discord or if you whisper to me on Twitch after this stream today, I will explain how I'm going to get you a £15, Euro, a dollar gift card, depending on where you are in the world for Steam. So there you go. McDonald's twerk team. Interesting. There we go. Mr. Keeves is here, raiding with 34 people. Thank you very much, Mr. Keeves. We're building some Lego today, uh, doing something a little bit different on stream. You guys have literally just missed a giveaway, but we are going to be doing some more giveaways in the next couple of weeks. And Mr. Keeves, I remember you having a stream or a video showing off some artisans for Lego. DM me and tell me how I can get those, because I really want one now. <laughs> uh, GMK Lego when... Let's uh, let let's do it, Leandrin. Let's let's sit down and you and I will we will make it happen. We will make that set. Um, we will absolutely make that set. Right. Okay. Moving on to the next uh, uh, giveaways are cool as always. Thank you. And the Lego stream is a good idea as well. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you very much for joining. I'm sorry you didn't win. Uh, Jay's going to put his Batmobile on his escape key. Yeah. Right. Why not? Uh, oh, I am mechanist. Uh, Oh, is, not, is, it, is that not Leandrin? I thought it was. Oh, well, maybe it's not. Uh, welcome, Mr. Keeves. Oh, thank you very much for waiting. Right, we're going to be on step 15 of that for those of you guys that are following along at home, uh, which means we need two of these. And we need four of these. Okay. There we go. Nathan Alphaman, thank you very much for gifting five tier one subs to the channel. Uh, oh, Mechanics from Archetype. Okay, okay, okay. You're confusing me. You're confusing me. Two people with similar usernames always confuses me. But it doesn't take much. Truth be known, it doesn't take much. Okay, so now we're going to move on to step 16. Two of those. Apparently there's some little round bits. Here we go. We need two of those as well. And we also need four of these. This thing is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's taking up more and more desk space. Uh, so how do we build this? Okay, so we push the barrel onto the blue bit, like so. And then we push that into there, like so. And then we do the same on the other side. There we go. Then these two, uh, how are we putting these on? Okay, so these go through here. There we go. And then that goes there. <clears throat> Nathan Offerman is a legend. Jay's gets confused. It's my advanced age, Brian. Now I'm in my mid-30s instead of my early 30s. It, uh, it happens. 
uh, good guy Nathan yeah uh, free Hong uh, free Hong Kong 2020 if you want to follow the build trim you can follow along the instructions on that link I am on step 17 right now um, so we're making some reasonable progress it could be slower it could be faster let's be honest okay but we did a good giveaway once we finally got Nightbot working it took some time but we got there if this is the length of the car that's freaking huge I mean that's longer than the J01 look how big this is compared to the J01 it is literally longer already and there's still more steps to go to lengthen this <clears throat> okay so then we need two of these we're starting to get through this bag though pretty quickly but bear in mind this is bag one of 24 as well guys so if this has taken me an hour god knows how long it's going to take me to finish this okay so we're doing that and then we're going to put this on here and then we're going to go in here and then in these two as well there we go <clears throat> giveaway uh, that's going to look ridiculous on your escape key Jim uh, yeah but it'll look alright it'll look alright I might send it vertically so it's like, like taking off from it that is a long ass Batmobile this thing is massive uh, it is absolutely huge. It's quite possibly going to be one of the biggest things I've handled today. It's massive. Um, oh, that sounded really rude. I did not mean that to sound like that. I'm glad Petrov's not watching. Um, 24 hour stream until you finish the kit. No, we're just going to go for a couple of hours today. We've got about another hour, an hour and ten minutes thing. Not the biggest thing, Jake. Well, maybe. Um, no, no, definitely the biggest thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we'll, we're going to go for another hour, an hour and a half, maybe two hours, I don't know. We'll see where we get to before I start to get bored of doing this uh, and need some sleep. Um, we'll see how long it takes to do that. Okay, so that's that done. Uh, ever built a Lego keyboard? No, not personally, but I know it has been done. I know it has been done. <clears throat> Keep the giveaway train going. Um, yeah, I will be giving away more stuff, but I can't just keep giving away stuff all day. I wish I could. Uh, unless you've got something I can give away on your behalf, Langlandia. Okay, so we've now got a load more of these black parts to put in. These little black connectors are going to go in on this piece, but they kind of go on three sides here, so for this particular step, we're on step 19 now, by the way, guys. Step 19. Just ignore chat and Blitzkrieg. No, I enjoy... The, the reason I stream is for chat more than the content that I do sometimes. Uh, I really enjoy talking with chat. So that's one of them built. We now need to do another one. I'm meant for chat to keep using the giveaway. I'm not being greedy, sir. Well, I know you're not. I know you're not. I thought you meant you wanted me to give more stuff to people away. Um, but if you've got something to give away, then we can do that. You will cut me. Okay, well, you'd have to be here to do that, and that'd be good. Although, stay at home, folks. COVID-19, stay at home. Uh, but if uh, if anyone was going to be here, it could be worse people than Langlandia. Yeah. Okay, and the build keeps getting longer. It's a long thing, guys. It's huge. <clears throat> and what do you know? The next step gets a little bit longer as well. So we need one of these. We need two of these. And we need two of these. So... He wants to give away for himself. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to deceive me. Yeah. Jay cut me in on proxy. Proxy for what? Uh, what do you want me to proxy now? I'll proxy anything you want, Nathan. Uh, my thumbs are bleeding from Jay One. Oh, if you want, yeah. If you want, if you want me to get you another plate, let me know, dude. Let me know. I, I don't want you to bleed from the Jay One. But you are choosing really, really silly switches for it. Let's be honest. They sound really good. They probably feel really good, but it does make the build a lot harder. Um, I love Lego. I just built a new ISS set last night. That is in my build queue of Lego. I actually bought that yesterday uh, after Querdenker, who got me to buy this one, told me about it. Um, ever tried Copra? Recently did a build with them. No, what's that? What? What? What's Copra? Yeah, tell me what they are. I have missed that, if that's a thing. Okay. 
Right, okay, next up we need this piece. It tells me it's one to one, and it is. Excellent. Okay, so the PDF is in 100%. So we need two of these and two of these. And where are we going with this? Oh, we're going all the way back to the other end now. So we're going all the way down this side. And that's going to go on there, like so. And then this. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. No, that's. That's not right. That can't be right. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 holes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we've got 15 holes of these apparently to find. But it hasn't told me to open bag... Oh, it did say bag 1 and 2 actually, didn't it? It did say bag 1 and 2. So they must be in bag 2, which is here. Let me just try and rearrange. I definitely need two of those. And there's only one here. Oh no, the other one's there. So there's two of those. So I definitely need those two. It doesn't look like these really long ones are in here. Hmm. Uh, cop board, rubber domes over a linear switch, meant to emulate or even surpass Topra. Uh, I haven't tried that. I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it. Uh, it wasn't as fun as to build as a Saturn V or the Lunar Lander, but it's still a really nice display piece. Nice. Nice. Okay, so I'm, I'm confused because the piece that I apparently need is not here. And it doesn't look like it's in bag 2 either. In fact, it's definitely not in bag two. Let's see if it is in bag three. Doesn't look to be in bag three either. So I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with this. Hmm, let me just scroll back up. Let me scroll back up. Let me go right back to the, the start. So it doesn't actually tell me where those are. It says right at the very beginning, I will need additional pieces, but it doesn't tell me what kit they're in or what bag they're in. Uh, if anyone can figure this out. Uh, so so this, the piece that I need, it says right on page 24 that I need two of these really long ones with 15 holes in on the sides and I think 16 studs on top or something. Um, but I can't find those in either bag one or two. And it does say that it's in a separate bag, but it doesn't say which bag it is. They're probably some unnumbered bags. Okay. There's 24 bags though. Let me let me have a look. Let me have a look, guys. Let me see what I can do. So you are right, unnumbered bags. This is where we're at. Right in here. Right in here. There is the bad boy that I need. So I need two of those. Thank you, whoever said unnumbered bags. That was a huge help. Bag number two can go back over there. Okay, so back to whatever step we were on. A lot of Lego Pros in here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a long time since I've been built anything like this. Uh, they have moved come free in the box. No, they weren't in the box. They they were in another bag. But yes, we found them now. So we are on step twenty one. Okay, so this goes here. So we're still adding to the length of this. Still adding to the length. This then goes the fourth hole in. One, two, three, four. That goes in there, like so. Then we're going to put the other one on the other side. And we're going to put that. I don't know that. Alexa, getting a uh, stop. There we go. She was getting uh, grumpy with me. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge. Okay, so that's done. <clears throat> now we need two of these. This is a great kit. It's a huge kit. 
this frame looks uncomfortably rigid. Even for its length, it's not bowing that much. It's ridiculously crazy. Uh, I do not have kids, no. I do not have children. Um, I have not put Lego together for a long time. Uh, but I do love the stuff, so... Okay, so... Need to put one in here. And one in here. And one of these in here. And then that goes... Here. Or does it not? Let's let let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so no, we we are wrong again. Now we need to find some other bigger pieces. Some other bigger pieces, but not quite as big as the last ones. And they are not in this bag. There must be in the bag. Here we go. Whoever's idea it was to look in the unnumbered bags, you are a legend. That's the one. That is the badger. There we go. Two of those guys. Cool. Okay, so start this piece again. Uh, let's just see what the chat's doing. Uh, this frame looks good. Yeah, we talked about that. I'm trying to convince myself to buy the 350 little Bugatti. Yes, do it. Uh, it looks like such a good build. Uh, <laughs> uh, look at the size of the thing. It's huge. Yeah, absolutely. Did you see my reply in the TC sub chat, Jay? No, I'm not on Discord right now because it doesn't play well with uh, Streamlabs. So I'm not in the Discord right now. Uh, if you need me to reply to something, slide into my DMs and I will get back to you straight after the stream. That's the badger. What's this about? Uh, I don't know. It's just a colloquial phrase where I live. We say that's the badger when we find something we're looking for. Um, nothing sinister to it. Nothing untoward to it. Just one of those things. And then on this side, we are going to go... Okay, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. This is just a mirror image of the last one that we made. There we go. Cool. Well, that's silly. Hmm. So James has been kind. He sent me some more DMs for tonight's giveaway. I'm not going to look at everyone else's DMs because there's a ton of them. Um, uh, Stash has messaged me and says, everything is good with the board. I sent him. Stash, if you're watching, thank you, man. I'm glad it was good for you. Uh, right, okay. Okay, cool. So we've got some games to give away. Let's do a giveaway. Let me find another piece of Batman trivia. Um... <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, okay, so who directed the, uh, the, the... The question is going to be, who directed um, this particular film that this is from? Don't put your answer in just yet, because uh, I need to get a nightbot ready. Uh, so the question is going to be who directed uh, the 1989 version of Batman and for the giveaway on this one we're going to give away the game Psychonauts which is from James AKB in chat um, so there we go so uh, who who directed the 1989, 1989 Batman put your answers into chat and this is going to give you the game Psychonauts whoever wins this uh, James, if you please can take note of who wins this and let me know after the stream because I've not set up for this. I'll give you guys until I've done the next uh, nine people are eligible, so nine people have got the right answer. I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes to uh, uh, to answer this one while I do the next part of the build. Uh, just finished drumming a PCB with PCB port so I can have Type C on the unicorn. Uh, drumming a PCB with PCB port. Have you dremeled the board? Or the PCB? If you dremeled the PCB, that's fine. If you dremeled the board, I'd be disappointed. <clears throat> uh, well, you also check PMs. 
What do you want me to do, Bledin? I can check your PMs if you'd like. Oh, okay, yes, Nathan Alpha Man, we'll sort that out. Uh, yes, we'll, we can sort that out. What did Bledin want? Oh, right, okay, so Bledin is also giving away some keys as well. So I've got a few keys uh, to give away. So we've got like nine giveaways now to do. Uh, so so the uh, the entry word for the giveaway here, uh, you've just got to answer the question, who directed the 1989 version of Batman? Uh, that's all you've got to do. Put in the, the name of that director, dead easy question, uh, and you can win uh, a game called Psychonauts from James AKB. Uh, so whoever wins this is going to win the game Psychonauts. I'm just going to do the next step of this particular build uh, whilst you guys carry on putting that in and then as soon as I've done this step I'm going to roll the giveaway. So there we go. Capitals doesn't matter, you don't have to worry about capitals, that's not going to be an issue. You do not have to worry about those caps. <clears throat> Bim Turton, not quite the right one, but uh, okay. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's roll it. I've done the next step. I haven't added it to the board because I've got another one of these to make. But uh, to the board, to the to the build. Uh, let's uh, let's roll the winner and see who wins this particular one. So this is for the game Psychonauts. Uh, D Lees, you have won the game Psychonauts. Reach out to James AKB and he will give you the game code. There you go. Uh, so congratulations, D Lees. Uh, we'll do one straight away really quickly from Bledin as well. Um, so for this one, I just want you to put in a keyword. Uh, the keyword's going to be Brian, because why not? Um, uh, I hope I spelled it right. Uh, Brian, B-R-I-A-N. You just need to put that into chat. Brian, and this is going to be for Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 3, uh, which is from Bledin. So Bledin is the guy you're going to have to reach out to uh, uh, in chat when we win it. So you just need to put Brian in chat. B-R-I-A-N. If you want to win Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of the War 3. So there we go. He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Yes, he is. I would not disagree with that. Okay, whilst I build the other one of these, you guys can carry on putting that into chat. I just need to build this one slightly different. Uh, so it's making me do it in a slightly different way. Don't know why, because the steps are the same, it's just the reverse image. There we go. Cool. These need to be added on to the board to here. Oh, this is really not clear. Uh, like so, there we go. There we go, cool. Uh, please pay attention to you, Jane. What do you want? Rip blue piece, what blue piece? Did I drop a piece? Did I drop a piece? You're missing a blue pin. Where am I missing a blue pin? Where am I missing a blue pin? Where? Blue pin where you just attached the one I did. What have I missed? Top yellow piece and the grey piece you just added. Top one, other side, right, yeah. Oh, you mean here? Yeah, you're right, you're right. My bad. Yes, you are right. So, how do I add that now? Well spotted guys, well spotted, thank you for keeping me honest. There we go, cool. There you go, finally. Alright, calm down guys, calm down. I don't know how I missed that, I must have missed it when I built that section. You didn't realise it then. I'm glad you're following along though guys, I'm glad you're following along. Right, let's do this giveaway, let's roll it. Let's see who's going to win with Brian. It's Derek, there you go, you have won the Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 3. Uh, Amir Bloody, if you can reach out to It's Derek uh, and arrange that giveaway, thank you very much for that dude, appreciate that. Cool, okay. Uh, rigged, yeah, rigged. Derek's one, it's rigged. There you go. Um, right, we're going to move on to step 24 now. Now you guys have stopped pestering me and telling me I've done it wrong. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we need six of these. So I'm going to do two of them. So I'm going to do that. 
and that. <clears throat> cool. Great. The phrase originates from 16th century story in which the author referred to folk who were seeking too many silk purse of the sewer's ear. In other words, making a bad job of what they were doing. If you make a pig's ear of something, you're making a mess. How about that badger? Sorry for spam. Okay. I didn't realise that that's where it came from. I just knew it as there's the badger. So we've got that and that. That's the four that we need to do. We need an, another two of these and we need to put these on here. So we've got that on one, that on another, okay, and then this is going to go hold up, hold up, this is going to go here, which means that one is going to go there. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Wait. No, 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 I'm miles off this. I'm miles off this. I'm miles off this. This is not where I should be doing this. So I should be doing this here. Okay, okay. That's that one. That's that one. Did I not make two of those? No, here it is. Holy crap, lol. Seven more games in your DMs. Oh my god, guys, I can't give away. I tell you what, Nathan, Alpha Man, and uh, Bledin, can you guys work with James, uh, AKB, and get it all into one list? Because uh, I can't work out what I'm going to do uh, if, if there's so much stuff going on. Um, that goes there. That one goes there. That goes there, and then that goes there, and that goes there. Is that alright guys? Can you, yeah, thanks James. If you could just pull something together, because I have no idea what we're giving away now. It's great that we can do so many giveaways, and I want to give away all this stuff. Um, I just need to make sure I'm doing the right thing. I just love how you slip it in the holes. Thank you, Khan. My Lego moves are getting better. Okay. Right, how many holes do we need to fill on this one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think these are only 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we need the other ones that have 13 on them. So there's one there. And there's one there. I'm going to leave this bag up here because we seem to be dipping into it a lot. <coughs> and we need to put couple of these in. Whew. Uh, so the third one along. Miss one and then put one in. There we go. Okay, that goes over there. Oof. There we go, that fits in nicely. And then we're going to go at third one and then there. That just rested right on the edge of my desk. I nearly knocked that off. Okay, and then that's going to go on here and here. There we go. Okay, cool. So that's that and that. Okay. So now we're on to step 26. Right, okay. Uh, James, if you just DM me once where you've got that spreadsheet pulled together, we'll do another giveaway as soon as that's all together. Oh, jeez. Uh, Nathan Athman's giving away Hollow Knight. That's a great game. Even I play that. That's great. And I'm not a big gamer. So, there we go. Then we need two of these. <coughs> and four of these. And two of these. Okay, so cool. So we're going to build uh, this side first. Uh, we're going to put that in holes four and five. We're going to put one of these in hole three. I'm going to put one of these in hole six, like so. Then we're going to build the one on the opposite side, the exact opposite. Uh, 
and these are going to go on here. Okay, so I feel like this is going to be the size of the car. It's pretty big, though. I mean, look, look at that, guys. It's huge. Absolutely huge. That's what she said. Yeah, right? Uh, I'm dropping my mother load tomorrow. Nice. Nice. Okay, cool. So we've got those done. Um, I then need two of those, and I need another two of these long boys. Long boy. There we go. <sighs> okay, so this one is going to go here. There we go. This one is going to go here. And then this one is going to go here. And this one is going to go here. Excelente. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so that's bag one done. This is just bag one done, guys. And we have some spare parts, so I'm going to put these to one side. Um, I'm going to get a little tray, put my spare parts in. I have got some trays, there we go. Little spare parts tray just tucked away there. That's one bag, and I've got 24 bags to do, guys. This is That's just one bag. Uh, with some uh, extra parts from a, an unnumbered bag. I've got 24 numbered bags and four unnumbered bags. I can't get over how big this is though. I mean like like this is this is gonna be huge. Like this is gonna be absolutely mahoosive. If that's the length of it, that's ridiculous. That's 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 huge. Like, I mean that's like my forearm longer than my forearm. There you go, look at that. It's huge, it's massive. You'll need a new shelf. I don't think this is gonna fit on a shelf. The idea was to put it on this new desk behind me, but it's not gonna fit. I'm not rolling over the bag itself, that's good. Okay. I have no idea where I'm going to put this. Um, anyway, it looks like a baby's arm holding an apple. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so we're on to bag two now, so let me open bag two. And then, as soon as James DMs me with this list, I'll do the next giveaway. Can't, I think I'm going to need a whole new room to store this in. I, I, I think genuinely that this is going to be ridiculously big. Okay, so now I need a few different parts. Some drew in here. I'm just going to empty that out and keep it to one side. So I need one, two, three, and four. I need two grey rectangular ones. I need four of these. One, two, three, four. I need four corners. One, two, three, and four. I just need that. Like these little corner pieces are quite cool. Quite cute. Okay, so we've got four of those, and then I just need two of these. So I've got one, and two, these are just nice smooth pieces. Okay, so this boots us back to the back of the uh, the car, and it looks like what we're going to do is we're going to put one of these here. I'm going to try and mirror my moves as I go along. Then we're going to put one of these corner pieces on, and do the same on the other side. Then we're going to put a black piece. Then we're going to put the grey piece. Then we're going to put the black piece. <clears throat> then we're going to put the corner pieces in. And then we're going to put these other two... Uh, I don't know what you call that shape. But we're going to put two more of them in. Cool. Okay, that's 28 done. Step 29. We need a few different parts for this. Uh, so we need 
one of these black pieces. It's one of these. A corner piece. A single stud in the direct center. I don't know what they call these pieces, but we need one of those. Probably all have proper colloquial terms in the community. Uh, and then I think we're going to have to open up this bag as well. Because we need one of these. And we need one of these. Oh, we need four of them, in fact. One, two, three, then four. There we go. Okay. So, uh, let me see how we're going to put this together. So, we've got to take this piece. That goes on like so. And then that goes on there. That then sits there. One of these goes here. One of these goes here. I would need four of those single stud things. One, two, three, four. And then that goes there. That goes there. I think that goes there and that goes there and then here and there. I think that looks good. Uh, Dealies has got to go. Be right back. Excelente. Okay, step 30. I feel like that's doing all right, but the PDF looks like we've got a few hundred pages to go. I'm on page 49 now, which is kind of worrying. It's, it's kind of terrifying, in fact. I feel like this is going to take me a month to put together. Okay, so we've got these two studs to go first. They go there and there. Then that goes in here. And that goes on the opposite side. And then we put that there and that there. And then that there and that there. Cool. Okay. If anyone's actually built this in chat before, I'd be really interested to know. Um, okay, so the next step's building something separate that we then plug onto it. So this is probably a little bit more involved than anything I've built before. Okay, so we start off with one piece, then we add this piece to it. So we've got a nice little ledge piece, a nice little ledge shape. Then we take one of these and we put it here. And then we take one of these and we put it there. So now that we're building out from that. Okay, and then we take an angled cut off piece. Don't know what these are called, but this is kind of like a square with a corner cut off. I'm going to take one of those. I'm going to put that on there. So that's our first piece, like so. Okay, then we're going to take another one of these, make another one of these ledges, and then we're going to take one of these this time and put that like so and then that goes there like that okay so that's our first part built on to step 36 now we get to put a red piece in it goes just there uh, and then we get to use one of these cool kind of hinge pieces these are really cool nearly done I am nowhere near done dude this is gonna be months away I think it feels like it is anyway maybe not but it doesn't feel like it's gonna be quick as long as I've got at least a few of you in chat though I'll be good okay so then we need one of these and we want to hold it this way and we want to go like so. So just building kind of like a, a 
cowl almost, cowl shape. Don't know what this is going to be, but that's what we're building. And then that's going to slip into this back corner like so. So that's what we've got so far. Okay, then we can get some two flat studs. I guess you'd call them that. I have no idea. So these kind of like just flat on top. Uh, there's no nothing discerning about them. They're just flat. Oh, you've done the spreadsheet. Oh, right, okay. Uh, yeah, all right, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that's going to go there. And there. Yeah. And then we've got some other really strange kind of pieces. I've never seen this piece before. I've never seen one of these. Never seen one of those in my life. Apparently you get them in both directions. I think this is already the longest time I've spent searching for a piece. There we go. And then we can... I see. We can fit that in here. There we go. As soon as I built this standalone piece, then we're going to do the next giveaway as well, guys. So we're going to do another giveaway in just a couple of minutes. As soon as I built this piece and found out where this sits on the on the case, the, on the uh, car itself, then that's when we'll do the next giveaway. Okay. So it's now turning into a three D shape. Okay, PM'd me with it now. Thank you very much, James. I appreciate that. I should really see if there's any other LEGO streamers out there because I've never looked. But it is pretty interesting. Okay, then we need a flat piece, like so. I'm going to pop that in there. Then we get two half, uh, two triangle pieces. And that goes there. Why do I always feel like when I get to this point I can't find the piece that I need but it's actually not here? There it is. And then there. Okay, and then I've got... Put two studs together and then put a flat thing on top. And that goes on top of there. Do the other side. Now I just need the flat one on top. There we go. It's always different people, like you here, a channel that just happens to have a Lego set. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I, I'm surprised it's not a thing, people building Lego on stream. If people build keyboards, why don't people build Lego? Okay, let's do the next giveaway as soon as I finish this anyway. I think that's it. I just need to find out how this sits on, on the car. I think it's telling me to do it like this. Okay, there we go. I think that's right. Okay, um, interesting. That doesn't feel like it's securely on, but hey, uh, that's the way it tells me to build it. That's the way it tells me to build it. Let's stop on 43. Let's do the next giveaway. So I have got a spreadsheet. I'm going to open it up. <clears throat> um, so we mentioned Hollow Knight before. Let's give away Hollow Knight. Uh, can I edit this, James? Can I edit it? Can I? Does that work? Yeah, it does. Cool. Great. Awesome. Okay, so, um, <laughs> right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to give away the game Hollow Knight. This is from Nathan Alphamance. Thank you very much, Nathan. Uh, this is a really, really, really good, uh, good game. I even enjoy this one as well. We're going to do a little bit more Batman trivia. Um, uh, Okay, let me uh, let me find let me find something that's easy to ask. Um, hmm. 
this might not be related to this particular film, uh, but we will find. Okay, give me the name of the police commissioner. Just his name. I don't want the word commissioner in front. Just his name in the Batman series. Uh, and that's in chat ready now. So, what was the commissioner's name? Uh, and this is going to be for the game Hollow Knight. Alfred Noble. No, I'm sorry. We can, Nathan. If you win, we'll just re-roll it, right? Simple. Don't have to capitalise anything. Don't need to worry about stuff like that. It will. It's case insensitive. Uh, so this is going to be for the game Hollow Knight. Uh, there's 57 people watching, apparently. Um, or 51 people watching. And only 7 of you are eligible. So, get your answer in, guys. We just want the last name of the uh, the commissioner in Batman. Yeah, re-roll if I win, says Dealies. Okay, man. Okay, we'll be re-rolling as well if uh, if uh, Nathan Alphaman wins. I'll give it another minute or so, and then uh, and then we'll go with that. My phone's vibrating like mad in my pocket. Excuse me. Oh yeah, okay. No re-roll if I win. <laughs> no worries, buddy. We're not giving away one of your codes, so that's fine. Okay, let's uh, let, let's roll it there and see who's going to win this. So Hollow Knight, who's the winner? Uh, Space CDK, uh, you are the winner. You have won Hollow Knight. So uh, I'll add that to the list. I'll reach out to you afterwards, uh, and uh, I'll send you that uh, code. So thank you very much. There you go. Cool. Uh, more giveaways in a few minutes. Uh, let's carry on with the build. We're now on step 44. If you guys are following in the uh, in the guide, and yeah, I do not even know how much harder this is going to get, but I feel like it's not going to get any easier. Okay, that piece is in place. Then we need one of these. And that piece is in place. And then I need to put in eight of these single stud keys. And I'm just going to put eight of these in place. Seven and eight. Okay, where do we need to put these? Okay, so we're going to put one and two here. And then we're going to put one and two here. Then we're going to rinse and repeat that on the opposite side. Congratulations, space. Well done, dude. Okay. That's those in place. That's that step done. Now on to step 45. Uh, I need two of those. Nice and simple. Uh, I need one of those. Again, nice and simple. I need one... I need one of these, but shorter. It looks one of those, but short. I don't know if you guys have ever used those. They're kind of like a cross, a crossbar. Doesn't look like it's in here. Hmm. Come back to that in a second. Oh no, I need three of them. Oh, it's in bag three. It's in bag three. Okay, okay. In bag three. So I'm just, I'm just gonna get that part out of bag three. I'm not gonna empty the whole bag. Apparently it's in here. I feel like if it was going to be anywhere, it'd be in one of these little bags. But I might be wrong. I'll reach out to the winners on here so you can just keep going. Awesome. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Step 45 of 9,532. Is that right, Kakan? Is that how many steps there are? That can't be right. I was imagining about 250, 300 maybe, but not that many. Um, whilst I'm doing this, I need four of those. Oh, it's there. It was already in there. Why did, I, why did it tell me that bag three is there? 
interesting. Oh well, we found it now anyway. Um, let me put bag three inside. Hopefully, I don't drop that. Typical. Always find what you need when you're looking in the wrong place for it. Um, okay, so we're going to put these two together. And that's going to go there. And then that block is going to go there. And then these two are going to go together. And go there. And then that block's going to go there as well. This piece is going to go on top of here. And then this piece is going to feed through through like so okay there we go Technics Lego stuff yeah man yeah this is uh, this is good good building stuff <clears throat> okay little round thing there we go I've never seen one of those before either. I've never seen a brick shaped like that before. Never seen that in my life. And then... There we go. Okay, so, now we have to build something. Okay... Okay, that's that piece built. So we have to build this. Again, I'm not quite sure what it's for, but we have to build it. Um, and then that's going to sit on there, like so, I think. Yes. And then we can push that piece back through. Again, don't know what it does, but hey, it's doing something. When I was a lad, yeah, I know the feeling. Right, step 47, what do we need here? Right, we need these guys, we need four of those. One, two, three, four. These would be a great color for a keyboard as well. That's such a nice gray blue, really nice color. And then we need one of a strange shape, again, that I've never used before. This one, again, looks like a Technic Lego piece. Never used one of them before. Uh, two of these and two of those okay so we need to take this piece and we need to put some parts into it so we need to go like so then we're going to take one of these and we're going to put that like that and we're going to take one of these i'm going to put it like that and then we're going to put it in that spot there. Okay. Then we're going to take these. I'm going to put put this one in here, like so. I've got two more, and these are just going to sit on the parts that we've already put in place like so there we go just realized there I have a few free sets I can build while watching nice nice man I do like a bit like I'm finding this kind of relaxing and, and entertaining whether you guys or not are finding it entertaining I am so I'm enjoying doing this I may not be on James May level of viewership when I'm doing it but I'm enjoying it nonetheless Okay, just chilling. Just looked up the official Lego colour chart. So many colours, yeah. Beer and peanuts. I've got beer. I, I, I'm almost out of beer. Uh, I'll need to get another one shortly. Um, okay. And then two of those. Right, okay, cool. So we're almost through this second pack now. We're going to take one of these, and we're going to put that into there, and then we're going to put that in on the top. <sighs> put that in like so okay 
Lego Technic putting these parts together. That goes like that. So then we're going to put that in the front. I've got to build two of those. So that's one built. That's the second one built. Right, okay, so where's this gonna go? So this is gonna go in here. Yeah, this is gonna go in here. That's gonna clip in to there nicely. This one's gonna clip in to here, like so. Okay, I'm not quite sure what all these vertical standard parts are for, but if you guys can't see, look, that's, that's how it's looking right now. Okay, looks like we've got another difficult parts build up. So once we've done this next part, we shall do the next giveaway. So there you go, guys. This separate build is then going to clip onto the main build, uh, and then we will do another giveaway. And I might not get through all of the codes that have been donated today, and even if I don't, we'll pass them on to Brian, and Brian will be able to do them on the next stream, or we'll give some away on the main Top Clack show, or we'll do something, because there's a lot of good games there. Okay, then we're going to go upwards with the same ones. Okay, so that's the first one we built. Then we need to add some of these yellow boys, like so. Okay, so let's make a bit of progress here. Then we need to take one of these and we need to plumb it full of these little black parts. There we go. And then we're gonna push this into the main segment. So we're gonna push this into here like this. go so that's this piece almost done then we're going to take the red bar two of these angle pieces two blue ones and what looks like a gear stick gear knob whatever you want to call it Man, this is a complex, complex build. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. I have no idea what this goes on to form, but we're going for it. We are going for it, okay. I feel like I'm probably going to have to keep those outwards like this. Like that. Okay. So there we go, this is this piece so far, it's getting pretty complex, okay, and then that's going to go over the top, I feel like this is going to be an axle of some sort, this feels like an axle that we're building here, it feels like a push-pull rod type system. Whew. 
Whew. Need two of these, and one's going to go up there, and then that one's going to go up through there. Man, this is getting super duper complex. Okay, and then that sits down on there. Whew. Okay, so we're getting there now. We are making some good progress. Then this bad boy needs to sit on here. And this one goes over here. Oh wait, 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 wait. We have to be apparently careful with how we put these on. Right, okay, excellent. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to do exactly the same but the opposite. The brain scratching parts come later. Ma'am, I'm getting to the fiddly bits now, blood, and I, I feel like I'm getting to the fiddly bits now. Right, so, I feel like what I'm building here is a series of axles. That 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 is how this feels right now, a series of axles. <clears throat> okay, and then, see, some of this makes sense now. Some of this absolutely makes sense. It definitely feels like I'm building a car. Bless you. Thank you. I, I am. It, it, if anything, it's dust. I am absolutely fine. No health issues with me at the minute. Uh, but thank you for the bless you. Okay. So it's starting to feel like we're getting there now. That definitely feels like some cars. Don't forget to lube the mechanics there, Jay. I'm not putting lube on Lego. Oh my god, now I've got to fit this onto the main thing? Okay, well, let's have a go. Uh, okay, so I need to drop this in. What are you getting hung up on? There we go. There we go. That definitely, yeah, that, that's definitely the steering. Look, that's definitely the steering. Works pretty well though. I knew it was a push rod pull rod system. I feel it. It's pretty cool though. Pretty cool stuff. 1800 layout, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Big brain. Okay, so apparently that's the second bag done. Put the spare parts in there. Let's do a couple more giveaways. 
because uh, I'm conscious that we uh, uh, we need to do some more giveaways. So let me let's give away three games on the trot. Um, the first one we're going to do, uh, I just want you to put the word Batman into chat. Uh, so you can enter the giveaway by typing Batman. And for this one, we're going to give away uh, Hitman Blood Money. The game is Hitman Blood Money. So all you need to do, guys, is just put Batman into chat, and we're going to give away a game called Hitman Blood Money. Uh, whoever wins will get the code after the stream is completed. I will send it to you. Whew. Okay, so bag three is next. So whilst you guys are doing that, I'm going to get bag three ready. Bag three might be the last bag we do tonight. We shall see. Oh, yeah, James is going to send it in a sec. Yeah, I forgot, let in. Uh, sorry, I forgot, James, let in. I'm getting confused now. It's late. It's nearly midnight. I've had a long day at work, yeah. James is going to send the codes. So, anyone watching, there's 50 odd viewers. If you guys want to win a game, you can win Hitman Blood Money. Just type Batman into chat now. Just type, in, type it into chat. Batman. <laughs> there we go. Right, okay. Okay, so that's bag three ready to go. It's starting to feel a little bit more like a car now. That's definitely a steering, that's cool. That, I thought this was the back, but it looks like that's the front of the car. Which kind of gives you a scale of how big this thing is. Hmm. Uh, get rid of the uh, the, the question mark uh, Deanington and you could win uh, Hitman Blood Money in a second. We're going to give away three games on the trot. Um, so Batman is going to win it uh, in three Two, one. So Hitman, but when it goes to Deanington, there you go. Uh, Deanington has won the giveaway. Complete and utter coincidence, but Deanington has won. James AKB is going to send you the code shortly. Uh, next one we're going to give away uh, is World of Goo. So we're going to give away World of Goo from Nathan Alphaman. Um, and for that one, I just want you to type uh, Catwoman into chat. Uh, I'll tell you when to go. Uh, okay, you guys can go now. So Catwoman for the next giveaway. Uh, so the next giveaway is for uh, World of Goo from Nathan Alphaman. World of Goo. Thank you very much, Nathan, for donating this. Uh, and all you need to do is type in Catwoman. Uh, I haven't played it, Anarchy. I haven't played most of these games, I'll be honest. Uh, but Catwoman is the thing to put in. And I'm going to do the first step of... Uh, this one while you guys put that together. So while you guys, so I'm going to put this together while you guys enter that uh, that word Catwoman into chat to win the next game, uh, and then we'll draw the winner in a second once I finish putting this together. Okay. There is a lot of complexity in this build. The more I do it, the more complexity I see. Whew. So I've got a couple more steps left to do on this one, guys. But put Cat Catwoman in for World of Goo giveaway for that game. Uh, and we'll roll it as soon as I finish building this segment, which is going to take me a couple of minutes, it feels like. It's not going to be super duper quick. But we shall get that as quickly as we can. Uh, okay. It is one of those. And that's going to go there. And then that's going to go there. And that's going to go there. So this is what we're building so far, guys. I feel like this is going to be a roof of something or a panel that's going to clip on somewhere. <laughs> hmm.
there's not as much black Lego on this as I was expecting, to be honest with you. I was expecting more black Lego. Uh, not that that's a bad thing, either way. I genuinely don't mind. Okay. I do kind of like the yellow, though. I've got a big thing for the yellow in this set. I just hope my Lego building skills are up to your expectations, folks. Uh, that's a front spoiler. Uh, black will be on the outside. Yes, you're right. Uh, damage point, thank you very much for the uh, subscription. Uh, I got a world of good. You catch my drift. Nice, nice. All right, let's give this one away then. Uh, so Catwoman was the code to put in. And the winner is Desp Key. So thank you very much for that. I've been following since uh, just a few days ago on March 28th. Uh, Desp Key, you are the winner. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, we're going to finish off this particular build. I think we're just going to finish this bag and then we're going to call it a night because it's getting late here. It's nearly midnight and uh, there's a lot to this build. This is not going to go quickly. Okay. Dealies, thank you very much for subscribing for four months, dude. Thank you very much for that. It's very kind of you to subscribe for four months. Okay. I remember using these pieces as like license plates on cars. I don't know if this is going to be something similar. Um. Okay, I'm getting there. We're getting there. Okay, it's starting to take shape. It's giving me some ideas on how I'd build a Formula One car in Lego as well. Oh, we haven't. Okay, okay, that makes sense there. That makes sense. And okay, then. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to concentrate here because this is pretty complex in places, and I'm not particularly au fait with Lego. It's not something I've done for a long, long time. So I want to make sure I get this right. That's that, and then. Okay, so we're almost there with this particular pod now. I'm going to turn it back around so the curves towards the front of us. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. So we're starting to take some shape, guys. So that's like a front corner. Looking pretty cool, pretty suave. The steering is really great. It, it's basically a replica of a Formula One pull rod, push rod system in like miniature. It's crazy. I wish all sets were bigger. The ISS and F1 car all need to be bigger. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've not really done an F1 car at scale, but like this size of F1 car would be amazing. I absolutely love that. 
cool. Okay. So, uh, next thing I think we're going to do is do the exact same but in mirror, it feels. Uh, because then we're going to get one on the other side. And Anarchy, while you're here, did you get your Nixie clock working? I didn't see any pics of it, so I did wonder if you got your Nixie clock working. Uh, I really, really hope you did. If you didn't, then let me know if I can be of assistance in any way. Uh, it's working excellent, excellent. You do need to share a pic with Matt. DM me a pic, because I completely forgot you were building yours uh, as well. Uh, okay. There we go. And there we go. I feel like this must be the most boring stream ever to watch because I'm just putting bits of Lego together and I, I genuinely couldn't have the time to tell you about every single piece that I was putting together because it would just take far too long to do a build stream if we did that. Um, I mean, it take take hours and hours and hours if we did that. But maybe that's the kind of content people want. Maybe we should set up a Lego channel. And yet we are here, yeah. I, I DM'd you a pic but got no response. Yeah, because that's what you sent me, Kakan. I mean, you know, I'm not going to respond to that. How can I respond to something when you make me feel so inferior? It's nice that you guys are here and keeping me company for this because I'd, I'd, I'd probably get bored of doing it on my own. I probably would just stop halfway through and not finish it. Um, well, maybe I'd finish it, but. Is that right? Here we go, guys. Here we go. Okay, almost there. Uh, no, must complete. Uh, yeah, we are we are doing giveaways at the minute. Racing giraffe. There'll be one not so long. And as soon as I finish this section, we'll be doing another giveaway. Uh, no, uh, no subscriptions or anything else required. Um, it's literally to try and make people feel better while they're in lockdown wherever they are in the world. I haven't messed with Legos in a long time, this is making me want to mess again. Yeah, I'm blaming a guy called Querdenka. Uh, he, uh, he told me this was now available and then made me want to buy it. So I bought it and, and now I'm spending all my evening uh, putting it together. But I am enjoying it, so maybe I should be thanking him. Maybe I should be thanking him. And I know he's going to watch this because he wants this set and he didn't buy it, so um, I know he's going to see this. Okay. Okay, that's all looking good there. As soon as I finish this piece, we'll, we'll do another giveaway, guys. We'll do one then. Um, There's some really, really cool shapes in this as well. I wish Lego was this good when I was a kid. Um, okay. Okay, right, so that's that piece done as well. So then we're going to drop this onto the other side. There we go. 
So that's now the whole front valance wing type area done. And this thing is absolutely massive. Is that the front of the car? That's going to be huge. Uh, I saw that Saturn V1 looks really cool. Yes, I have that in a box. It's not been built yet. Um, yeah, it looks like a hoverboard. It kind of does. Yeah, it kind of does look like a hoverboard would be. Uh, although a hoverboard probably wouldn't need really cool push-pull rod steering. But hey. <clears throat> Replayability of LEGO is good. Yeah. Okay. So let's do another giveaway. Uh, yeah, I've got the Millennium Falcon in a box to build as well, but I'm never gonna, never gonna find the space to put it. Um, maybe that's gonna have to go in the warehouse. Uh, I don't know, but maybe when we get the warehouse fully kitted out and stuff like that, and we have some space, I'll display it there because I might end up streaming for there a couple of times. No, William Bleach, we're not doing a keyboard today. We're doing something a little bit different. We're doing a Lego build, uh, but we are about to do a giveaway. So the next thing we're going to give away is uh, a game called Emily is Away. Emily is Away. Um, and I just want you to put the name Adam in chat from Adam West. I'll tell you when you can do it. Uh, so if you type the word Adam into chat, then what that's going to happen is uh, in a few minutes I'm going to run the giveaway and that's going to give a, someone a game called Emily is Away which is very much thanks to Bledin. So thank you Bledin. Again, not a game I've played but uh, I'm sure it's very, very good. Whew. Okay, so next step on this while, we, while you guys are putting Emily into chat uh, sorry, not um, Adam into chat for Emily is Away game. Uh, we are going to build the next section. Uh, so we need a few parts for this. We need a few parts. Adam is the word you need to be putting into chat. And then one of these bad boys. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I need to work out exactly how we're putting this together. I didn't think that was going to fit there, but it does. That works. Okay. And then this piece is going to go all the way across there. Nice. That doesn't fall the same. That's really clever. Really clever. <clears throat> Thank you for the DM. I will take a look at your clock in a minute. Uh, Racing Giraffe, if you've got some stream keys you'd live, love to give it away, some steam keys you'd love to give away, uh, message uh, James AKB, he will add them to the list and we'll make sure they get given away at some point. Um, I'm just going to have a look at Anarchy's clock. Oh, dude, that looks great. Mine, mine is... Mine is under a bag of leather. No. Mine's just back there. You can't really see it, but it is back there on the desk. Hold on, let me, fl let me flip cameras over. Let me just quickly flip uh, streams. If I flick over to this camera, you can see it there, it's in the background, just there. Just there, there we go. <clears throat> cool, let me uh, let me flick back to the build stream. There we go. Hold on, let me get this out from another chair. There we go, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, you saw it in the picture. Nice. Thank you. Uh, just noted I got a gift sub while I was away from my desk. Thank you, Nathan Alphaman. There you go. No worries. Okay, let's see who's going to win uh, the game. Uh, Emily is away. Uh, and that's going to be won by FamGuy07. So FamGuy07, congratulations. You've won that game. Uh, James AKB will be out that way. Why is your cam mirrored in this view? So my cam's mirrored in this view for one simple reason. If my hands are like this, and I put this hand down, and I move this hand around, and then you see me come up and touch my face, it looks like it's on the same side. Whereas if that camera was flipped, you, what you would actually see is you would see me go something like that, and that just doesn't work as a movement. It looks kind of weird. So that's why the camera's flipped, so that it looks like I'm doing everything in straight, especially when I've got my hands like this, and you can see it in both cameras. That's why we do it. That's why we move the cameras and mirror the cameras. 
because otherwise it just looks really weird and it's really jarring. If I flip the camera around and then I start moving this hand around and you see, as, as I'm doing that, you, you, you actually see going over, of, off over here. It just looks weird. Um, and people just complain about it, so. Yeah, okay, so here, this is my left hand and this is my right hand. This is the hand I would write with a pen with, my right hand. This is my left hand. So, left hand, right hand. Wedding ring, wedding ring. And you see the wedding ring follow up. There you go. Did I end up copying a Joe 2 Kapora? Yes, I was part of the uh, uh, the design and the idea with uh, Johan, so yes, I got one anyway. Uh, given that fact that I'm behind the Joe 2 board, then yes, I got one. Um, I couldn't affect the who else got one though, so I had no impact on that. That was completely uh, random. I did win another one in that raffle as well. I got the Celestial Kipora, which I'm really, really excited for too. So yeah, got a few. It does mean I need to buy GMK no Noel though now. So, so there we go. Uh, right, okay, we had one last thing to finish on this step, which was to put that piece on there and this piece on there. And Bledin, who doesn't appear to be in chat? Bled, Bled's in chat. He's here. He's around. Okay, so we're just going to finish this package off, this particular bag of stuff, which I think is probably another 10 steps or so. Uh, and then we're going to call it a night because it is 10 past midnight here now. So the next section that we're going to build is going to go around here. Apparently I need to make two of these little shapes. So I'm going to make two now and they're done. And then I'm going to get the rest of the th pieces that I need uh, to put this together. Okay, so that goes there, that goes on there, and then we take the two pieces we built and we put one in there, and we put one in there, and then we take this and put it right in the center. There we go. So once we've done this, we'll give away another couple of games really, really quickly uh, at the end. Uh, and then whatever we don't have, Brian and I will take away and move into the uh, uh, into the next set of giveaways as well. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is start to put the next piece together. So I'm having to build this from step 97. Jesus, we're in step 97. Holy crap. Um, that's just crazy. Okay. So now I've built that piece, then that piece is going to go here, like so. There we go. Is that right? They don't mirror. Uh, what doesn't mirror? What doesn't mirror? What doesn't mirror? Everything looks okay from me here. Tell me what I've missed. Show me what I've missed. The two built pieces you put in? Oh, yeah, good spot. Good spot. Yeah, no, you're right. Good spot. I'm glad you guys are paying attention. Glad you guys are paying attention. Fixed. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now we're on step 98. And we need this piece here. I need this funky looking piece here. I've never seen one of these before either. It looks like a frog's head. And then I need four of these. So four of these with uh, just a single pin in the middle. Uh, and then these are all going to go... Where are these going to go? Okay. So this is where it starts to get pretty complex again. Trying to work out where you are on the model as you go is not the easiest thing in the world. all of that in place. Uh, next thing we're going to do is build what looks like the steering part that's going to go onto the front end of this. This looks quite involved so I think this might take a few minutes to get it right. So I'm just going to pull the parts together. Uh, so we need a gear style knob, uh, two of the black connectors, we need a yellow tubey thing, uh, we need another one of these black right angle cannon style connectors. Uh, 
one of those and then one of those okay so that goes into there like so camera please that goes into that like so then we're going to take and put three or four pieces together here so that goes into there that goes into there and then that goes on the end I suppose go on so far. Yeah, okay, that goes there like so. And then we're gonna take that and put that in there. Okay, and then how do we connect this up? Where does this connect to? Okay, so that sits on Okay, so I feel like this is in the wrong place. Because unless that's supposed to go into there. Okay, I, I see. Okay, I see. I see now. So what we've done is we connected that piece we've just built to this upright here. Okay, I get it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece, which we've got like two holes and a bar connector, and then we're going to use it like a tension rod, a torsion rod, across these two points. So I'm going to try and put it on this side first, like that, and then we're going to connect it over to this side, like that. And then what that's going to do is, as we have a twisting motion here, it's going to turn it into a lateral movement. There we go. So then when there's a steering wheel on this end, whatever that looks like, and you turn the steering wheel, it's going to turn the steering. So there we go. That's how it's going to work. Cool. Okay. So that was step 100. Let's uh, let's see if we can finish off the rest of this bag. Uh, I think we've only got a few more steps to go. I think once we get to uh, 116, we've got 16 steps to go, uh, and then we'll do a ton of giveaways. We'll give four or five things away, uh, and then we will close down the stream. So we're going to build uh, another piece separately. So we need a piece like this with all the holes in. Uh, we need two of those. We need one of those. Okay. So this goes into one, two, three, four. This is going to the fifth hole. One, two, three, four, five. That goes into there. And then we're going to take these two, and these two are going to go one click into there, like so. Whoops. Like that. So that's the piece we've built so far. <clears throat> okay, then step 102. We are then going to take these pieces and we're going to put that underneath there, like so. You see how we're just building that together. Okay, 103, we're going to take this piece and go around the side. Then we're going to take one of these blue frog looking things and go up the front there. Then turning it this way, we're then going to take one of these and we're going to go like so. And then we're going to take one of these and pop it just like that underneath. Okay, so that's looking good. Then we're going to take beige piece that's going to go on like so and then we're going to take this piece with the kind of groove in the front and we're going to take two long pieces like that and then that's going to go into like so so this is the piece that we've got so far
and then that. That's going to connect. Like so. Okay. Okay, great. I think then what we're going to do is going to build one of those in reverse. It feels like that's the logical next step. Uh, and indeed it is. And then I think what we're doing is effectively starting to enclose this system. This is, this is feeling like we've made some good progress today, even if we've got nowhere near finishing this build off, we are definitely making progress. Okay, it looks like we are missing, a, oh no we're not, I thought we were missing a piece then from base, but we are not, that's a fallacy, that's a lie, uh, it is absolutely there. going to go on there like so and then that is going to sit into place there like that there we go and then everything still moves if we do that it's just starting to now get stuff built around it okay and then this is where we start to connect everything together this is where we're going to start pulling stuff into place, making sure everything's aligned, giving it some more rigidity, making sure it's a solid model. Making sure the parts can't come apart easily, that's all solid now. Okay, and then 16, 116, step 116, which is the last step for this build today for bag two. We're now going to put this in place as well. There we go. So, guys, I uh, appreciate not all of you stuck around for this, and uh, it's been a long old slog. Uh, two hours and 20 minutes, and we've barely scratched the surface on this one. Um, but we're getting there. It's starting to make sense as to how it's all going to fit together. I am probably going to do another of these streams tomorrow to try and get through bags... Uh, four and five and see how we can get on from there um, and probably arrange all of these parts a little bit better going forward. Now I've done one on stream I'm kind of feeling a little bit more comfortable about it um, and know what we're doing and how we're making progress. That's what we're going to do. Cool. Now before we finish let's give away another couple of, uh, another couple of games. Um, first thing we're going to do is give away uh, a game called Strider. So this is for a game called Strider. Just type Strider into chat, uh, and I will give that away in a second. So Strider, uh, you can type it in now. Just type Strider into chat, guys, and we're going to give this game away pretty quickly. So I want to see at least ten people enter. So everyone, just put Strider in. Even if you don't want the game, you can give it to a friend. You can pass it on. You can do whatever you want with it once you've got the code. So put Strider into chat if you want to win uh, win that game, uh, and that's game called Strider. So here we go. And this is a very, very much thanks to uh, to James AKB. Uh, thank you very, very much for sharing this game with us, guys. Uh, and we've got four eligible users so far. One, two, three, four, five eligible users. So keep going, guys. I want to see at least 10 people enter this. There's 47 people watching. We can get 10 people to enter this. Yeah. 10 people to, to, to win a game. That, that, that can't be difficult to do. It's a free game. It's free. You get a Steam code in a PM and you play the game. It's as simple as that. It's dead easy. Um, yeah, I really need to sort these bags out. There's a ton of them. There's an absolute ton of them. 
<laughs> Yak Bats is here. Strike Space, Raw, Red Bat, Anarchy, Derek, Stewie, Nathan, Mike Clicks, Dealies, Toxic. You're all getting in there. Uh, it's selling like you're on QVC. Now, if it was on QVC, I'd need like a local top and all that kind of stuff, wouldn't I? Um, I order one again. I don't want to be greedy. Yeah, it's fine, man. It's fine. You can give it away yourself. You can pass it on to a friend. You can give it to your wife, your girlfriend, your sister, your brother, your best friend, your, uh, your partner's best friend. You can do whatever you like with it. It would spice up TC a bit. Maybe I'll get Brian to do it. Maybe I'll get Brian to do it. Okay, guys, uh, we've got 10 eligible users. I'm going to roll this one. And the winner is Yak Bats. There you go, Yak Bats. You get the game. Uh, Strider, uh, James AKB is going to send that over to you in a second. Um, so you'll have that and be able to play it later on today. I do have some codes that we're going to give away later on. Um, so, you know, uh, we did a giveaway right at the very beginning of the stream for a $15 code i've forgotten who won it someone won it i'll remember and give it out to them um even if i have to watch the stream again to work it out um but yeah we're gonna give i think the when when i finish this on stream i'm probably gonna do something like give like a 150 dollar one away or something like that uh just as a real big celebration for for getting it finished so yeah we're gonna do something big for that but without much further ado that is it for the stream tonight it's half past midnight i'm gonna go get some sleep i've got to start work at nine ish in the morning and i need to walk the dog before that so um yeah i'm gonna Go get some sleep. Uh, thank you, Yak Bats. Uh, love uh, who gave that game away. Uh, I think that one was James. I love James as well because he uh, he gave that game code away. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll take it from there. But thanks very much, guys. Really appreciate you joining for me to build this. Can't wait to finish it, and I'll see you again soon. So take care, all of you, and uh, I'll catch you again soon. See you guys.